Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of FS Passengers with me and you heard 37. So we are in Pierre, Wyoming and we are going to be uh, taking a flight today to Boulder, uh, Colorado. Uh, it's going to be 1v5. It's supposed to, the iCal is supposed to be like KBDR or something but apparently, I don't know, they still has as the old one but that's just fine. Uh, it's not too long of a flight, not quite as long as what we've been doing. Before we take off, I installed some of those aircraft today. I was looking at some of the prices and stuff like that. So, uh, we have what, I believe it was something like 2.3 million, or no, sorry, 1.3 million, uh, almost 1.4 after this. So I looked at the B-1900, it holds 19 people. It, however, it costs 3.9 million. The B200 holds 11 people, and costs 2.3. The C90B uh, holds, I believe, nine people, and actually only costs 862,000. The Cessna 404 Titan costs uh, 729,000. I'm not, I couldn't find out how many people exactly it held, but we could afford that. And the Grand Caravan EX should be able to hold 12 people. It costs 2.4. I thought it was 1.4. But it costs 2.4. The PC-12, which is the one I want to buy now, I couldn't, I did, I'm not sure how many people it can hold, but it costs 1.67 million. Uh, and the TVM-850, not sure how many it holds, and it costs 2 million. Now, some of those, like uh, the 404, the Cessna 404 Titan costs... Like I said, 862, the 404 costs 729. Problem is, those are the really, I think, the really crappy ones. Where they have a ton of hours and the maintenance and everything is going to be real high and uh, repair costs real high. So I don't think those are great buys. I think that PC-12 was like a mediocre. I think they said it was a good deal. One thing I don't like about it is when you go to buy it, it, doesn't, it just tells you the price. It doesn't tell you exactly how many people it holds, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, we have one. We're, after this flight, we should have around 1.4 million, and I need another. What was it? PC 12, 1.67. So we need like another 270 grand. So maybe another four or five flights. Uh, it kind of sucks, <laughs> but I, well, what can you do? All right, FS passengers, do a, a flight. And the PC-12, it holds nine people, which is nice. Uh, this holds five, so it's not quite double. So to me, that's pretty good. Uh, this is only 200 and some miles, I believe. So we need about 25%. Let's take it down to 43%. Be a little risky. Take a lot of luggage. As much as we can get. All right, a little too much there. There we go. Just the one pound over. There we go. Set type. Normal flight. And destination. One, yeah, Boulder Municipal. I don't know, but it's technically destination set. That's the old ICA, but whatever. Engine instrument check. Flight control. Got all, all right, got check some kids. That's why 52 pounds, 105 pounds. Because we could have taken a long flight to. The next one's going to go, I believe, to Jackson Hole. But that was a little too long. But now that I see it, there's just kids, man. We could have probably made it. Oh well. All right. Got to get to these tank selectors. Alright, those are on. We'll go ahead and open up the cowlings. Move those up. That in a low idle. Uh, hit the nav button. Battery. Left alternator. Pump. Mags. Start it up. Move that one to a low idle. And we can turn that pump off. Right alternator. Fuel pump. Mags, and we'll get that one started up as well. Move that all the way up, and turn off that pump. Looks really cloudy out there. 
Kind of nice, though. All right. Windshield heat, pedo heat, radio. Let's see if we can already hit up. There we go. Oh, that's right. Uh, there's only traffic. We don't. We don't have a tower. Sweet. And because that's the case. Okay, so there's two runways. What is the closest? Where's the closest taxiway? We might just go down here to our left. Deck on it. Um, said 12, 30? 30, looks like it'd probably be 31. Papa, India, Romeo, traffic, India, Juliet, five, five, niner, is taxi into runway. Let's turn our taxi light. I hope that was the correct runway. I believe it is. Some, some planes, it may not be this one. Maybe some of the default ones. It's like, uh, it says the one thing on the compass, but as soon as you move it for the first time, the compass, uh, readjusts itself. It looked like that one stayed, so it was probably good. I'm not sure of the wind. I guess we could have used ATIS. Probably told me the wind. I think this is the run we, we came in on the other day. Kilo, Papa, India, Romeo. There we go. Automated weather observation. One, eight, five, seven, Zulu. Wind, one, seven, zero, at one, zero. One seven zero. zero miles. Sky condition ceiling One seven zero. I think it was coming out of one seven zero. So that is the correct runway. So we should be good. Ah, uh, we've got a taxiway right here. Go ahead and put a notch of flaps out. Go ahead and put two out. But yeah, I, I am hoping for that PC-12. Man, that cockpit is awesome. The cockpit of that, even though it's a turbo uh, prop, one one engine turbo prop, I think it's similar to the Grand Caravan. I think it would be like the same class. Um, yeah, it is 31. The cockpit is like a, um, it's more like a, like a small jet. Very cool cockpit, very different really from any of the planes we really fly. Really, really cool. Okay, we're heading more to the south, so Kilo, Papa, we go. India, Romeo, traffic, India, Juliet, five, five, niner, taking off. Turn that off. Three, Let's one, look. I don't see departure. anyone coming there. See anyone there? I haven't heard anyone on the radio either. Strobe, landing lights. Go ahead and get out of here. It's going to readjust itself, I bet, after I take off. And we'll do a rolling takeoff, no reason to stop. Whoa, I, I hit the brakes. And, man, it just gets me out of control. Alright. On the brakes too much and it just swings around. Alright. Not really a rolling takeoff. <laughs> we had to stop because I screwed that up. The brakes. But now we're good. She's really wanting to go left on me. Jeez. Alright. We'll get up. Alright. How's the rate? The gears coming up, although we dipped down badly. I'm going to retract one notch of flaps, just pick up some speed. Actually, it looks kind of like the... The weather was... Wind was coming with us, tailwind. I'm not sure that's correct. 
All right, flaps are fully retracted. With the best heading desired track two one six. Two one six. Hard, so hard to read. All right. While Denver goes to auto, we'll turn on the autopilot. The heading. Also, our climb rate of thousand feet a minute. Take a look outside. According to this, Pierre is quite small. If it's the capital of South Dakota, South Dakota is very small itself, but we think it's got to be bigger than that. Just going to fly right over and see if there's anything good. Get back in the cockpit for a minute. We're really struggling for airspeed. Turn the taxi light off. I know we're at a thousand feet a minute, but man, our that help, might help a little bit. So we're already we have a higher elevation starting out. Yeah, there's not much here. I highly doubt there's that much uh, on a little island in the middle of a river, but okay. I mean, I guess it's possible. It'd be kind of cool, actually, if you actually like did live in there or something, or even I guess work. It's kind of cool. Other than that, it's just open area, man. It'd be cool to live in an area like that, though. There's not a whole lot around. We are picking up some speed now. I need to close these cowlings. That could help a little bit as well. Reduce some drag, maybe. We're going to go up to 18,000 feet. The distance here, 337, so it's a little bit further than I actually thought. 50 miles there. Got a little bit left to get us right on track. Alright, but is it, I mean, we're actually picking up more speed as we go. It's kind of odd to me, even though we did. I mean, thinning out the mixture does help with the speed as you increase uh, your altitude. Alright, but I'm going to go ahead and speed this thing up, everybody, and we'll be back in just a little bit.
All right, everybody, I'm going to slow it down. We're 24 miles out. I actually need to descend a little bit quicker. All right, let's hit up ATC. I don't know where that one came from. There we go. We used that the other day. Hey, they're talking about us. Talking about us. Where are you, Boulder? 15V. There's 18V. 1V5. 1V5. Not 15V. Alright, so. Apparently, no tower there either. 826. Uh, yeah, this is just weird in, um. In the flight thing too, I couldn't understand it. Eight twenty-six, eight down here. Twenty-six is gonna be closest. Uh, full stop landing. On posi in position. Going to send a little bit quicker as well. Alright, so I'm going to head out to sort of the left just a little bit. Clear that out of there so I can actually see. There's our airport right there. Actually, let's go over to the map real quick as well. Because the elevation is going to be quite higher, I would expect. Yeah, 5,200 feet, so actually not that slow. All right, so eight left, I guess, is technically where we are. No ILS or anything like that. Yeah, so we're at like 4,000 feet above the ground right now. It's not that bad, actually. Clear this again. Oh, it didn't work. I'm not sure if that's saying, are we pointed down or up in that picture? Point up, so technically they just went to our right. I don't see nobody. All right, we got someone over to our left as well. Let's see if we can clear it now. There we go. So is, is that 17 miles out? Let's go ahead and speed it back up. A little more to the left now. That's going to be our runway right there. Now, is it going to be on which side of the mountains? By the way, we're really low on fuel. Because it was, I didn't put as much in. I didn't think it was as far as it actually was. So we're actually just kind of barely making it. Engines sound better, a little thinned out. Of course, we are at a higher altitude. We're only like nine miles out. So it's got to be on this side of the mountains. Go to find this thing. We're going to probably be a little too high as well. So let's get down a little bit. I'm expecting it to be right over here. Let's actually head over to the left a little more. This is the range on that map. 15. We'll be able to get a better approach at it and look for it easier. Turn our taxi light on as well. Don't need you messing with it. Plane. So we are quite high. That's a little concerning as well. I 
Uh, well, I wanted to stay kind of high because uh, it makes it so much easier to actually find the airport. But if we could say, see, we're only like four miles away. I wanted to be like more like seven. I want to be like half of it. We're gonna slow it down here. Wait, we are at normal speed. I thought we were still at four x. Because we've gone too far now. Is it really at normal speed? All right, I'm going to turn the yaw damper off and the autopilot as well. Oh no, they they freaked out. Let's see, are you sure we're at normal speed? I don't know how that freaked them out that bad. Damn it, we were at a hundred percent. We've gone way so so far. There you can see it. We are low. Here comes the gear. Now we're actually on the glide slope. Well, that really sucks, man. Like we were at hundred percent. I don't. I didn't realize I jerked it that bad. That's why I was checking to see if we were at four X. So our, our company rating is going to fall. <laughs> All right. Bring up the ATC here. All right, full flaps. All right, so we're at ninety-two percent, which is better than what I thought it was going to come to. But yeah, I didn't realize I jerked it that much to the right. There's that other runway to the right with the grass. One Victor five traffic India to Low again. Alright. We're right on it now. There's some trees right at the edge of that. It does look like it. Go off to the left. Don't get too low, too quick. We own the ground. It wasn't the greatest landing. It wasn't that bad. I was trying to... So many times when I come down, I... I uh, in this plane, I balloon it up a little bit. Right, right when we're coming down, we actually gained a little altitude. I tried to do it real gentle so that wouldn't happen. Well, tell me there's not a taxiway down here. I believe I see one. No, that wasn't a taxiway. All right, right at the very end, there is one. Yeah, it didn't seem that bad, that landing. Like I say, sometimes I just a little too herky-jerky with it. Which I could probably calm down the sensitivity of the joystick as well. And uh, the FSX settings. Clear the one, runway. Strobes off, landing lights off. Alright, let's go find a place to park. Should be rather easy when we'll have some controller trying to tell us where to go. Get our own short area. Or area close, close to us. Head over to the left. I don't know what's to the right. It looked like there's some parking spots over here to the right. Yes, there is right here. Awesome. K 
cannot find the taxi line. Where is it? Over to our left. All right, I'll go ahead and park it right here. Get rid of this yoke. Parking brakes. Go ahead and cut the fuel. Open the door. Turn everything off up here. All right, everything is off. That's now everything's off. Flaps are retracted. Everything should be good. Just gotta wait on them. All right, they're out. Close that door. All right, let's go over to and in the flight actually. All right, 340 nautical miles, time airborne, 2 hours, 2 minutes, 46 seconds. Flight time, uh, 2 hours, 8 minutes. Time on the ground, 7 minutes, 44 seconds. Average speed, 166 knots. Climb time, 1645. Cruise time, hour, 1720. Average cruise speed, 180 knots. Uh, descent time, 2841. Landing speed, 81 knots. Landing touchdown, 133.8 feet a minute. Kiss. Landing pitch, 3.58 degrees. Landing weight 4,484 pounds. Total fuel used 266 pounds. Climb fuel used 61 pounds. Cruise fuel used 160. Use about 124 an hour during cruise. Sit fuel used 44 pounds. Sorry, this chair is getting very uncomfortable. All right, ticket income $1,577. Cargo 182. Fuel cost 202. Airport taxes five bucks. Insurance 76, total road income 1476 times the 50 73. That, that is that is awesome because I guess it's because of the cargo. I mean, when you times it by 50 like that, that's a, that's a really good money. All right, so they thought we should be 92%, so it, didn't, it decreases about a half a percent down to 96.71. So we were average. Oh, no. Uh, they got us on the reserves. <laughs> Pilot bonus points, 80 points. Uh, smooth landing, 50. Correct. Airport, 30. Damn it. They got us. Flight rate required that you have uh, 45 minutes. You only had reserves of 29. So we were 16 short. That gun it. So we could have put a lot more fuel in there and not as much luggage. That gun it. That's like a loss of 270 points. That sucks. That's right. We'll get it back. We'll just make some. Really good flights, 100% flights. Ah, oh, man, that kind of sucks, though. But we make good money, and that's the important thing, so we can get a new plane uh, sooner. So that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, I think next one, is, we're going to go up to Jackson Hole. I do have the scenery for that, so I wanted to go up there. Uh, so I'll see you guys on the next flight.